All right, hey guys. So, just laying out all of the supplies. Wow, they actually come very nice. And let's see how the manual calls them out. Yeah, so the manual itself calls out J is the M4 screw, J, M4 screw. I've actually never seen that before. That's pretty nice. <clears throat> they want to make sure that you have your best, best experience. And sorry that I didn't come out and mention it. This is a brand new video for the Arctic Z1 Pro monitor arm. So let's go ahead and set up some space. Because right now we have to set up our monitor. <clears throat> Just to make sure we don't scratch up the screen. I don't want to scratch up my nice monitor. Alright, I'm going to set this down. I don't care too much about the frame. I don't care too much about the border. Obviously, I care about the screen. So, right here, we're going to be taking out the uh, the vessel wall mount or the vessel mount. done pretty easy all right and since I'm unboxing this and building it with you guys I'm gonna have to look at the manual to see what I do next all right so now it's asking me for this guy not really in the order that it's asking me to do it Right now it's asking me to uh, to set up the the desk clamp, but that's a little bit more difficult for me, uh, being that my desk is upstairs, and um, yeah, so it's kind of a two-part installation. So let's go ahead and start part two. here. Now it's asking for what screws is this asking for? Either VESA 100 or VESA 75. Let's see what this is. This is 100. So I'm going to need the M4 and M5 screws. That'll be in J and in K. Wait, what? 12 millimeter, millimeter. And, yep, so J and K. Again, they did a great job here. That was J. This is K. That's weird. I don't know why they're asking for all of them, but whatever. And let's find those washers. The washers are in T. And there's T right in here. 
I'm really impressed with the way they did that. It it makes sense. A lot of times you'll be building stuff and they'll say use these screws. That's nice. What screws are those? These tell you everything. So, alright. And by the way, the uh, there is a way to set this up properly. Kind of right here it goes over how to set this up so that this little piece is on the top. And I'll take pictures of this manual so you guys can see how it is. I'll include it in the review. Alright, got my washer on. Alright. Attached. Make sure everything's nice and tight. All right, we're good here. I don't know why I asked for those screws, but it did. Looks like that's all that's needed for this part. So I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side. So now kind of in a reverse order, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. This is again the mount. This goes on your table. And again, that's some pretty strong stuff. this. This is U, the metal pad, or I, what is this? Metal base plate I. So, right here. Then it's telling me that I need the H Allen key, hex head Allen key. So, let's open these guys up. And I will need Q flathead screwdrivers, or screws, sorry. No Q there. There's a Q. Alright. I'm not sure why this didn't come, this part didn't come already put together. It doesn't seem like. If there's anything there you can play with, but whatever. I want to make sure that where this cable goes, if it goes through that hole, okay, it goes. I'm in the right.
and the very last one for this piece at least. All right, now that that's done, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, that's kind of nice. I didn't realize that. So this gives you the option if you have an odd desk layout, which I do, you can take this guy off and you can just fit it through here. You have to have a hole in your desk and, you know, to be able to clamp it in. I don't have a hole, so I just wasted my time putting this guy on. So let's go ahead and take that off real quick. That's what I get for jumping ahead. Seems that everything they put in here is pretty rugged, pretty pretty nice. Good, strong material. Again, I'm just hoping my desk can take it. Just doing a little bit uncomfortable so that you guys can see how it fits. It's a bit awkward, but of course I can always take these two screws off and work with this and put it back, but Kind of a glutton for punishment, I guess. Again, really worried to, to see how that's going to fit in my desk. But, uh, God, I hope it does. This would save me so much space. If not, I'll figure out a way to make it work. Alright, so that's pretty much, that's pretty good there. Let's see if there's anything else we're going to need right now. We are going to need that big old pole. Where'd it go? There it is. This is the monitor stand. I'm sorry. What do they call it? The. Ooh, very technical. They call it the pole. So, just got to screw that in here. Again, you guys can't see. You, well, you can see, but you can't feel how good of a quality this is. Very high quality material. Um, you can hear it, you know, on the desk, so on the table, I'm sorry, but it, it's really high quality. So that is pretty much all it looks like I can uh, talk about right now. Um, let's actually go ahead, put the arm on so you guys can see how that looks like. Pretty simple installation. This goes in a hole, tighten it up. This is not final. I'm sure I will adjust it more, but it's okay. It's all fully adjustable. And then this part goes to the VESA mount you guys saw me put on, on the back of the monitor. You'll get a little more up close and personal with my computer because you're going to see me install this and with my desk. So I'll come back soon for you guys.